I get you back in my chair, Zabe. I'm happy to be here. I can't. I, there's so much that I wanted to talk to you about the last time, but I was so in awe of the fact that you know you made like you know the first South Asian um, as the film um, commissioner of Toronto. <laughs> Thank you. That yeah. I didn't get the opportunity to talk to you about your magnificently illustrious career. Uh, you were very kind at that <laughs> interview, and we touched on a lot. But thank you for. Uh, I'm back. Let's you do it. Back. Let's, Let's do talk. this. Clearly, you had the kind of upbringing that I didn't have. <laughs> I, I I was like totally chained to the house and not allowed to go out and you know yeah. just participate in things that quote unquote w weren't really considered um, you know South Asian respectable um, yeah. careers. Today, of course, media, film, fashion, music, us. all these things are um, considered, um, you know, incredible careers Legitimate. to be involved in because people like you have actually laid the foundation. And you? Right, I mean, you know. You know, well, you know, we both well. have, you know. It's good, yes. <laughs> yes. Look at that, and you give the rest of the folks a platform. That's what's awesome about that, right? You That's because we're as, we're as good as the word that gets out. Absolutely. Um, and so there's folks like you making sure the word is out on everybody, which is so important, so it, thank it is, you. It is important, but if it, it wasn't, um, you know, because of people like you, we wouldn't have a story to tell. Loving, it's so a loving. It, I'm telling you, it totally <laughs> is. So we're gonna talk about your story. Why did you decide that you wanted to go into, you know, film acting, directing, and that whole genre of world? Huh. Because it wasn't really something you fell into. Someone doesn't fall into a degree in, you know, <laughs> no, acting. No, in fact, you try to get out of one <laughs> if you're smart about it. It's the thing that makes me feel most alive, and I think sometimes you gotta commit to that. You Absolutely. gotta be true to yourself. Absolutely. Um, and then you gotta make it work, because it's there's always challenges. It doesn't matter who you are or what circumstance you're in. Um, but f yeah, it wasn't a decision that I made intellectually. It was a decision that I, sort of believed in because I felt it. And Those are the best kind of decisions. The intellectual part came when the challenges came because then you got to stick with it. And that's right. the hard part. Yeah, absolutely. But you stuck with it. I mean, you've yeah. um, you've really been involved in all aspects of the world of acting and theater and film and TV. You've written, you've um, produced, you've directed, you've won awards. I mean, everything has happened um, for you. Cynics during might the time. say that, you know, I, I couldn't do one thing well, so I had to keep <laughs> trying something else. Um, um, but, you know, you, yeah, it's it's all encompassing. I love to be part of this world like I think you do. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, it doesn't matter what I do in it as long as I'm part of it and, and um, expressing a collective message or vibe or beat or um, information, cultural exchange, whatever, right? It's taking, it's collaborating with a bunch of folks. Um, and doing something creative. Well, you've done some incredible um, roles, everything from Metropia role, which was very far removed from, you know, the stellar role that most people really relate you to, right. which was obviously mm -hmm. Little Mosque. Dudes. Very, very different um, roles. How did you kind of, you know, find your footing in these two, you know, distinctly different roles? And knowing that they were also roles that put you in the forefront of being a South Asian person, but from different genres of lifestyle. Everyone's got to take an oath when they take on something. And it is, for me, it was to play people and to un try to get inside what would make a person who they are. Right. Um, and so you have to be honest and you can't judge your character. And for Metropia, it was kind of a pioneering show in the yes. sense that it was a diverse group of people being who they are, whether it was culturally, whether it was sexually, whether it was uh, whatever they were taking on in, as a career, they were just being themselves. And that wasn't always, nowadays, um, it's great. And I say nowadays because it seems like it was so long ago, but it <laughs> but was. A lot of people know. have done that um, yeah. today now, um, Zay, but when you did it, it you know, w were there any kind of, Whew, no. Should I take this on? Yeah, Am I, I mean, going to get backlash? Is it worth it? And I did. Yeah. Right? And you do get backlash, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, and I've gotten backlash for playing both those parts. Yes, um, absolutely. It's hard to play an imam. It's hard to play a, a closeted homosexual who then comes out yes. and, and, and tries to celebrate who he is. You couldn't get two more different characters than myself, which is also part of the, the reason that I love them, because it allows you to really get under someone's skin and into someone's skin and go, okay, this is who people are. So um, how did you do that? What's your process um, as an actor? 
Uh, I think, I hope it's honesty. Um, it's reading the, the script immensely, not just for the lines, because in, in, in camera work, obviously, it's for lines, but I, because I come from a theater background, I think it's about you read the lines and you read the script to figure out what you say about yourself and what people say about you. Right. And what you think, and then you try to make a composite based on that. How, do, do pe how much do you get ignored in a script? counts just as much as how much you're in the scene. Absolutely. Um, because it allows you to, it informs your humanity, I think, it informs your behavior. Mm -hmm. So that's, for me, it's always the script. Um, it's where I start, it's the map, it's the guide, it's the compass. Uh, and then it's non-judgment. Right. Uh, you can't judge That's a character. big one, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. hard enough, uh, you know, it's, I, I'm probably, it's easier for me to not judge my characters than myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it also allows you to understand that, um, it's very, un sort of, you become more self-aware, I think, when you try to play another human being. Yes. Because you can't be judgmental. Um, Absolutely. And so, and that person can't be judgmental either. You, you know, you could, you'd hope that they're not. If the script calls them to be judgmental, then there you go. But, um, so it's honesty, it's the script, and then it's my fellow actors or partners in the, in the collaboration. That's a big part of anyone that is um, a theater trained actor. I always get that from the theater trained actors <laughs> a lot more than I do from those who, you know, typically have done more, um, you know, TV and film work. Right. Yeah. So, you know, you've done all of that. You've done TV, you've done film, and um, you've done theater. Which of those three would you say, and you know I'm gonna ask you yes, this, of course, would, yeah. you, would you say um, is the most fulfilling for you and why? Uh, there's going to be three answers because they are three <laughs> so different mediums. Or I, I should say there's two. There's stage, and the stage is the immediacy, mm -hmm. and you're right, the, where things can go horribly wrong or go amazingly well. Yes. And everyone sitting there with you is going to experience what you are, essentially, or Absolutely. you're going to get informed by what they're experiencing because they're going to give it to you yeah. right there in that moment. Is there a nakedness to that almost? Uh, I have been naked on stage <laughs> as well as being on stage. So Damn, why was yeah. I there at that time? <laughs> uh, lucky you, lucky oh, <laughs> poor gosh. those people that were in the house uh, on those performances. But um, uh, it's, it's, this, it's powerful. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, you're right, it makes you want to share you need, you need the people around you, so yes. you listen to them more. Yes. Um, because you're all in it, and it could all go horribly wrong, or, as I said, it could go amazingly well. Has and so ever, that energy is great. Has it ever gone horribly wrong? I have to ask you, <laughs> has there ever been a moment um, on stage where you know that this is a really you know, um, prolific moment for, your, um, you know, for, you, for, for the person that you're playing, and you don't get the reaction that you're hoping? Yeah, you know, and, and you, yes, there, are, there have been moments. Not, I wouldn't say horribly wrong, thankfully, but you know, uh, I'm there's a long time for me to <laughs> be on stage yet, so I'm <laughs> sure it's out there. Uh, <laughs> but it, it has, it's tense, but it's great. Again, I've worked with some amazing uh, folks on the stage, uh, as well as camera, but amazing actors. So as, as long as you trust each other and you're there, it, you get through it, and the audience hopefully doesn't even notice, right? Because they don't know unless, I mean, I have also been on stage where someone is reading the Shakespearean no play way. and looking at us <laughs> as we perform it. And, you know, there's inherent cuts right. in every production. Of course. And so they're like, they're adaptations, mm, yeah, right? Mm. <laughs> That's I can not nerve-wracking that. at all. And then, you know, from theater, then when you move into the genre of TV and film, which, although they seem like they're cousins, they're very distinctly different also. Talk yeah. to me about your experience there. Um, well, you know, in, in t television, I've also been in comedy, and in film, I've been in drama, which yes. is, um, comedy is, is faster, obviously. It's the world view is different. And there's a, there is the moments where you can be a little more two-dimensional, if you will, because you're, the point is, the comedy is the point. Absolutely. And then, um, and then you need moments of 3D, but in 2D, that's when sometimes you get the laugh, right? Right. Um, and in film, and it's one of all, the hardest things to do. Isn't it is. It, it is, is, is timing-wise with yeah. your company. Um, but you know, in, in the difference between stage and, and camera is that in, with camera, you can get more specific because you get to cut and you yes. can do it again. And you can even, if you're, you know, uh, completely kind of whacked about it. You can sort of immediately go look at your take and see it's really, really fine-tuned your performance, so almost make it so do, right? No, I don't. <laughs> For me, it's actually like, you know, because I'm it's, done. I'm I, I done good about it. and I don't want to see it and I probably won't even watch it when it comes out because <laughs> I don't even want to know. You guys enjoy it or hate it as you wish. It's really interesting you make that comment because that's a part of your, you know, uh, ideology of non-judgment, -judge yeah. which is what makes great actors. 
that well. Right. Uh, there have been great actors that have been yes. non-judgmental. Yes, I'm yes. sitting right in front of one um, <laughs> right now who is um, definitely an, an, an incredible actor. I'm, I, I've loved everything that you've, um, you know, you've done as well. I mean, Othello. What? Wow. That was. That was yeah. just brilliant. Yeah, that was a nice uh, moment for for my career to sort of step behind the camera and yeah. sort of work with actors that I respected and thought well of and see them shine in a in a lot of cases a new moment for them because not a lot of them had done Shakespeare for the camera right. or Shakespeare at all in some cases. And that, I'm, I'm assuming that would be a very different experience to you know adapt something that is so um, inherently um, recognizable as a live theater experience and putting it into kind of like this I mean Box, yes. really, yeah, right? It is, it so, is how was that for you? Being that you're you're kind of directing that whole process to make sure that it does actually work. Uh, well, I got lucky because I was also part of the the script process when we were. So, I, uh, a guy named Matthew Edison and I, uh, along with everyone, really, there was a collaborative effort in terms of how we cut the play and amended it and kind of reshaped the story for this medium, yes. for the time constraints that you have for the medium, you, you know, uh, because it was a television film, so it needed to be 90 minutes because it had commercials as well, Of obviously. course, yeah. Um, it wasn't the four-hour full-length Hamlet that Kenneth Branagh <laughs> took on, but kudos to that kind of work. But we had to do a completely different process. And um, you get so close to the play. I think I learned more about Othello and potentially Shakespeare's writing, going through that by wrestling with that work right. um, to turn it into something, hopefully, uh, which was honored the original and still right. said something new and now. Um, but uh, it's, it, it's, it was but an amazing succeeded. experience. But, but you succeeded because, I mean, it was so critically acclaimed. Yeah, we had but some good reviews for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you did. But, it, I mean, what a challenge. Uh, you know, being someone who is a Shakespeare buff, I mean, I love literature. I love, um, you know, the whole world of Shakespeare. Um, I'm very married to the way Shakespeare needs to be. So, you know, when I saw that, and, I, you know, I was blown away at the fact that the nuances of what the messaging was uh, was authentic. Thank you. And that's that. usually a very difficult thing to do when you're adapting, when you take a novel even. Right. How many times do we go to see a movie yeah. and we say, oh God, you know, the read was way better. Yeah, yeah right? I like the book better. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, you know, I didn't do that when I watched this. I, you Thank know, you To me, this was that. a new experience yes. of the same thing. And we thing. were hoping that that's what it was because it was going to be so different an experience. Yeah. So you do have to kind of detach and at the same time. But I think, again, you're right. It comes down... Uh, I'm something revealing here. I'm learning something about myself. That again, it was an exercise in non-judgment. Right. Because if I judged it or judged myself, wrestling with it, um, it would probably things might have gone awry. I want to ask you something, which um, you know, to me, I I don't get why you haven't done this. But you know, you're, you're such a celebrated actor in your own right, and all of these other um, areas of film, TV, and theater, as we've talked about, that you've been involved in. Why have you not gone outside of Canada in, 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 you know, in any big way? Because, I mean, I, I know that you are tr you're truly a uh, advocate for Canadian, right. um, you know, art. Right. And, 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 you know, and the fact that there's an incredible amount of talent that resides here. Of course, your role as Toronto Film Commissioner as well yes. um, is an extension of your belief system. Yes. Right. right. Um, but at some point, every great actor in Canada, you know, gets to a point where they've, they, they've gone to the top of that ceiling. Right. There's no more breaking it. Yeah. And they have to go somewhere else in order to get a different experience. That, that's not something that I've seen you've done yet. Is, is that a conscious decision on your part? Yeah, it is a conscious decision. I mean, I think it has to be. You're right, because there you do... Our country is only so big, even though it's one of the biggest countries in the world. We are so impacted by our neighbors to the south. So it has to be a conscious decision. For me, I'll be honest, as a South Asian person, um, the market is the same, right? In the U.S., it's just as... You're absolutely so, right. But here, Toronto is a place that's so diverse. Now, I think the potential of Toronto is greater than the current state of Toronto. And Toronto's in a really great place. You look at everything from, you know, Real World Film Festival to right. Toronto International Film yeah. Festival to Hot Docs. Docs. It's right. just, it's insane yeah. the amount of um, filmmakers that realize that Toronto truly is one of the must go to hubs yeah. on their on their film You're circuit right. tour i think again it's because of the diversity the diversity is because everyone sees 
a reason to go to Toronto. Yes. And you can make it here. You have made the Anoki list 2015. Wow, it's phenomenal. about bloody time. You guys have been very, very kind to me. And I respect uh, what you guys do. I'm honored that you think of me in the way. Uh, the list is uh, extravagant and packed uh, yes. and uh, full of high level folks. And to be sharing the honor with them is a, is a true honor for me. There really is that much talent. We're not just doctors, dentists, accountants, and lawyers. Yeah. We are all of those things, but so much more. I really want to always be in a creative environment uh, with creative folks. That to me is where I live best, yes. whether it's my personal relationship or whether it's my uh, um, friends or whether it's just my place of work. Yes. Right? I had to commit. I could have chosen not to, but I did. So be yourself, figure who that is, be honest about that. Mm -hmm. And then if you like that, it, Go for it, and if you don't like that, try to get out of your way because it's really important to be who you are. And it's really important to like who that is, regardless of what the world may think. Because at the end of the day, honesty to yourself is the key. It's the greatest gift of all. It's, yeah. it's, it's the purpose that we actually go through life's journey is to finally say to ourselves, you know what, I'm okay with everything. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, and you know you will have to be ultimately because we're in it. Absolutely. <laughs> and we can be in it alone, or we can be in it together. Absolutely. And I'd rather be in it together. I agree. Thank you Thanks so much lot. for your time, sweetheart. Always, always, good to see always you. love yes. seeing you. We're gonna celebrate. Absolutely. Thank Great. you so much. Thank you.